Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing something really exciting. I'm going to be decluttering my foundations. Now, I really got the inspiration for this idea from Tati. She has an entire playlist called Makeup Graveyard, and she goes through different types of makeup, gets rid of about half of them, and then keeps about half of them. If you guys don't follow me on social media, I'm going to leave all of my links down in the description box below. And before I ramble on for way too long, let's get right into this video. There's a total of 19 that I chose to keep, but in my defense, I have five of the same one because I have different shades of it. I have four, yes, four of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. It is such a great foundation for people who tend to be more oily, have a little bit more grease in their skin, or are combination. This is so perfect for a climate like mine. I live in Arizona. It's about 110 degrees right now, so even if you are dry, you're gonna be a little oily because it's hot. I have two of the 102, a 103, and a 104, so I can mix and match all of these together, but I just love this foundation. For being a drugstore foundation, it is actually better than a lot of high-end ones that I've tried in the past. Highly recommend this one. Next one that I have multiples of is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm the shade five in both of them. And I went through a phase with this foundation where I was just absolutely obsessed. I had about four of these bottles at one point in time, and I just really like this. While I am more oily, and this is more for drier skin, I would say, um, this actually works really well as long as you mattify it and pat it down because it just looks amazing. It makes your skin look so dewy, so luminous, so healthy, and it really blends into the skin easily, even if you use a brush. I have the Lorac Perfection Foundation. This is the shade PR5. It's a little too dark for me at the moment, but I really love the way that this blends into the skin. It's very long lasting. It feels comfortable. It doesn't feel too thick, but it really can give you full coverage depending on how much you put on. So I'm a really big fan of this. It's oil free, paraben free, fragrance free, all the frees that you need. So I'm a big fan. And of course, I love when foundations come with pumps. So this is definitely a huge plus for me. So a recent luxury purchase was the Dior Skin Nude Air Serum Detente. It feels very light on the skin, even if you apply a few layers of this to bring yourself the full coverage that you're looking for, but it doesn't clog the pores and it just feels like I'm not wearing foundation. I'm a really big fan of this and it's actually pretty luminous as well. I've loved all of the different formulas for the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I know some people are more of a fan of the previous formula, some people are more of a fan of this formula. I like them all, I like them both. I don't know how many formulas they've made, but this is a really good one. Um, a lot of coverage, which I'm a big fan of. It looks very natural, it doesn't cake up on my face. Um, so I'm just a big fan. I can't recommend this one enough. If you want a high-end foundation that's really gonna be low fuss and low hassle, this is the one. Okay, so I have three of the Clinique Chubby Stick foundations. I have the shades six, seven, and eight. This is a very interesting concept because it's a stick. So you're basically just rolling this up and then applying it to your skin. It's very natural, easy to take around with you. I like the travel friendly element of it and all of them blend beautifully into the skin. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush, you can use a beauty blender. Everything works really well, and I like the blendability element of this. The foundation that I'm wearing on my face today is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless version. I am such a fan of this foundation. I find that it's very good coverage, it doesn't clog my pores, it's obviously drugstore priced, and it's perfect for someone with more oily or combination skin, but they also have the regular version if you have normal skin. This is another one of those foundations that I talked about for a very long time. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. It launched this year, I think around February or March in the US. Very, very beautiful foundation. Everything from Charlotte Tilbury is always in freaking credible. This is definitely lighter coverage. It's got a little bit of luminosity to it, so you're gonna have to set it if you're oily like myself, 
but I find that it just looks like your skin. So I really like this in terms of being a more natural look to the skin. I have the L'Oreal True Match makeup. This one is amazing. It's obviously drugstore, easy to find, very long lasting. It can be built up to full coverage, but if you use a little bit, it can be your light to medium coverage. I think it's just a great product to have in your collection if you're looking for a foundation that is just no fuss, super easy, this is a good one. Now to follow that, I also have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation. So this one has a serious, serious highlight to it. It's much more illuminating, very obvious that you're kind of glowing from within. Similar to the one that I just talked about, the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation. This is very light coverage and it can come off a little bit patchy depending on what tool you use. I don't really wear this in the summer. I like highlight and I like powder highlight for the luminosity, which I can add all over. But for the winter time when I'm trying to get out the door, I want to be quick and I want something that's going to be actually hydrating and give me that luminosity, I go for this CoverGirl Outlast foundation. Last but not least in terms of what I'm definitely keeping is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. I know what you're thinking, what the hell are you doing with a BB cream? And I will admit, I'm done with BB creams, done with CC creams. They are so annoying. They're always so liquidy. They're either too thick or they're nothing. And I don't like that spectrum. I want something in the middle. And this is the only one that I found that is the closest to what I actually am looking for. Okay, so now that we've gone through all of the ones that I'm going to be keeping, Let's go through the ones that I'm not keeping. So I'm going to be getting rid of 16 foundations. These numbers are just absolutely earth shattering to me because while I review makeup, it just seems like a crazy amount of foundations because Homegirl has got one face. I don't have 17 different faces. I don't go out that often. I don't need this many foundations, but I just love, love, love to try them. And I feel like if your foundation is nice, it will really help the rest of your makeup that you're also adding on top of it look significantly better. So foundation to me is one of the most important makeup items if you're gonna wear any makeup at all. Okay, so first one in the throwing out slash giving away pile is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream with Illumination. This wears terribly throughout the day. I think in about hour four or five, my skin starts to itch it separates and it's very dry. Now to follow that, I'm also going to be getting rid of the regular IT Cosmetics CC Cream. The first one was Illumination. This is just the regular one. It doesn't wear long. These are not long lasting, so I'm just not a fan. So this is probably gonna be in my luxury products that I regret buying as well, but this is the Burberry Fresh Glow BB Cream. I bought this on a trip to Germany I am just so disappointed in this because when I tested it on my hand and on my chin, it looked really nice. It was just slight coverage. It's just so, so greasy. I mean, if you are dry, this will really work for you and your skin will look more dewy and glowy. But for someone who is oily, this is absolutely terrible. And the associate at the time was like, oh, this is perfect for all skin types. Uh. No. Next up is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. While this is a great product for just throwing on your face and like running out the door for a couple hours, this is not long lasting. This is not worth the money. This is obviously expensive. It's NARS. I just don't think this is worth it and the SPF is very greasy. I'm not sure how you guys feel about this whole cushion concept bullshit. I think it's kind of hokey to me and I feel like we've run out of ways to make foundation so now we're putting it in like a little compact. I don't like the idea, but I think I'm going to be getting rid of this. While I do like this and I think it works well, I just don't like having the little cushion. I just don't like this in its application. I'm always surprised when I hear people talking about Glossier. I just think that their skin tint is horrendous. This is the greasiest thing I've ever tried in my life. And while I can mix things together, I just don't want to have that kind of commitment. Like, I want a product that I can just put on my face like that chubby stick. I don't have time to be mixing this with something that's gonna mattify my skin and like putting different droplets of things in. And I feel like that's just too much work. 
If you pay good money for these products, they should work by themselves. And this is just way too greasy, super liquidy, like even just swishing it around, it's just like so watery and runny. And I just don't really care for that at all. I'm going to just give this one away. This is again the Lorac Perfection, but this color, as you can see, <laughs> way too dark for me. So this is just gonna go to a friend that has a deeper skin tone. Oh look, there's another one, goodbye. So I love most of Lorac's foundations, but this Touch Up To Go Concealer Foundation Pen, it's so hokey. It's another one of those things that is like, you think it would be a great idea, but it's just not sanitary, first of all. It's just got this little swabby, brushy thing at the end. No, I don't like that. And you kind of like push this and the product comes out, but they call it a concealer foundation pen. This one actually feels like it's weighing me down. So I'm not a fan of this. I would never use this as concealer, possibly foundation, but if I'm on the go, I need a beauty blender or something because this shit is not gonna fly. It is like not gonna blend anything in. So I don't like the idea. I think it's hokey. No. One of my first foundation stick purchases a couple years ago was the Napoleon Paris foundation stick. It's very creamy, but it's very cakey, and I don't need cakiness in my life at this point. Um, I kind of learned how to blend in foundation, so this is just like way too cakey, and it sticks to all the dry patches on your face. So this is going to be hitting the garbage can because it is so old. Okay, so this next one is from Algenist. It's got microalgae oil, and this is more of a tinted moisturizer. It does not matter how you apply this with your hands, with a beauty blender, with a brush. It just doesn't seem to spread evenly across the face. And I know moisturizers not always do. We have the Garnier BB Cream, and this is the combination to oily skin specifically because I remember reading reviews about the regular one and people were just saying, oh my gosh, it makes you so greasy. Um, I will say this one does also make you greasy. You're greasy after a couple of hours, so I can't imagine how greasy I would look with the normal one because, whew, man. I have the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. This is kind of a staple in most people's collections. The only reason I'm getting rid of this is because it is old. Like, I got this bad boy two, three years ago and I've just kept it because I use it from time to time, but it's obviously, I'm not as tan, so it's way too dark and it's old, so goodbye, MAC. This is the Tarte. Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. And there was that silly kabuki brush that kind of went with this. All I have to say about this is that I never feel like a powder can truly do what a liquid foundation does. So this one is my ride or die. I talked about this pretty recently, but it is so old and it's getting really, really thick and cakey that I just have to say goodbye to it. There's not much left in here anyway, but I just gotta get rid of it. I remember talking about this product a long time ago. I don't even know if it's sold in stores anymore, but this is from Too Faced. This is their big and easy liquid to powder, oil-free foundation, whatever the hell it is. And this is just not a good product. They say it's like a liquid to powder formulation. I should have known right away that I wasn't gonna like it because I don't like powders. So something that I apply as a liquid turning into a powder Seems, again, hokey. Last but not least, the Maybelline Smooth Mousse, Dream Mousse, comes in this little compact. Um, I do like this product. I was using it probably about two weeks ago. Um, it's just very, very, very old, and it's getting to the point where it's so old it's like dry on my face, and that's not the actual formulation. Okay, so that is it. I'm only keeping 19, only and getting rid of 16, so I feel like this has been a really successful video. Let me know down in the comments below what you want me to declutter next. Do you wanna see eyeshadow palettes? That was the next most popular one. Do you wanna see blushes? Do you wanna see highlighters, contour? What do you wanna see? Just let me know, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, and like I said, all of the information will be in the description box below so you guys can check me out on Snapchat or just join in on the fun on some of my other social networks. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!